Hello, entertainment enthusiasts. This is Ray, and this is The Fandom Realm. Today, I actually have my immediate out-of-the-theater reaction to the movie Black Adam. And I've got to say, it is a good reaction. But before I continue, I do want to just point out, there could be some spoilers. I'm going to try not to spoil anything for you, but I just want everybody to be warned. I'm going to start out by telling you the action in this movie is nonstop from start to finish. I thought everything with the action made sense. Uh, the stunts, uh, everything, the CGI I thought was pretty good. A couple little wonky CGI issues here and there, but nothing that took me out of the movie. And the action, it really moved along. The music really fit with the action, I thought, really well. I'm not sure who did the music. I'll have to go back and look at that later. But I was a real fan of how they mess, meshed the music and the action together in this movie. And the music really kept me on the edge of my seat for the action sequences. And that's what music needs to do for you. And I think it really helped my enjoyment of this movie. Now, I will tell you one thing I was a little concerned about with Black Adam when we first heard that Dwayne The Rock Johnson was going to be playing Black Adam. And that was, were they going to give Dwayne Johnson too much to handle? The question was, were they going to write this movie at a level where he could really do his best? And I think they did a good job of that. And I think what they did is they kept it simple along the entire cast when it came to writing. So it was something that he was able to pull off and not have any big issues. It really uh, was, I thought, Dwayne The Rock Johnson there, and he, I thought he did a really good job. Uh, I do just want to point out Aldous Hodge and Pierce Brosnan. Aldous Hodge, of course, played Hawkman. I thought he did a really good job. Uh, I was a little worried about that character because of the way he was portrayed in the trailers. Pierce Brosnan, loved Pierce Brosnan since he played James Bond. Uh, he was my favorite James Bond. But with that, I thought he did a very good job as the elder statesman of the hero group. I also really liked the character of Eamon. This character, a child actor, did a great job. I love seeing child actors uh, sort of step up in big movies. But I really thought they used uh, this character to be the human side of Black Adam. Basically, I thought they used it to humanize him. And the character of Amon did an excellent job at that. And he was very energetic, a little bit sassy. I, I like characters like that. One of the other things I'm very positive about this movie for is they did sort of uh, approach this idea of superheroes coming in different forms. Early on, basically had Hawkman's side, which is heroes don't kill, heroes look one way. And you basically, uh, if you follow that, of course, Black Adam, he killed, so he would be a villain. And I think we've got to get away from that in superhero movies a little bit. There's a, a, a fine line there of what's a hero and a villain, and just because you kill bad guys doesn't make you a villain. So I, I like that they were trying to tackle that idea in this movie. Another thing that I really liked about this movie is, okay, I really like the movie Shazam. That's actually where we were sort of introduced to the character for Black Adam and the potential of having The Rock play this character. But I thought you could take Shazam and you could take Black Adam and the way they were filmed sort of tonal tonally and in the and the background and the filming and everything they did I can see Black Adam and Shazam existing in the same universe and I think that is a very big positive for this movie one day we're going to see Shazam and Black Adam on screen together I just know it now before we go there are a couple of negatives that I want to just talk about first off I already mentioned a couple of wonky CGI bits uh, overall, the CGI I thought was really good. A couple uh, places, it sort of took me out of it, and it may have been something they were doing on purpose, and it just didn't come over well to me. Also, and this was probably my biggest issue with the film, and it, it's not huge, but when we talk about superhero movies, I have a saying. I have a saying. Your good guys can only be as good as your bad guys are bad. And I thought the way this movie was written and the way it was organized 
we didn't get to quite see enough of the ultimate big bad guy in order to realize he is a real serious threat. And I think that is a little bit of an issue as well. The only other really nitpicky thing I would say, that's going to be the backgrounds of some of the characters. I am a traditional DC person. I grew up with a Justice League. I grew up with Batmobiles. I grew up with Batman and Superman and a Hall of Justice playing with those. And I don't know anything about uh, Black Adam. I don't know anything about Adam Smasher. I don't know anything about Cyclone. I know a little bit about Hawkman. I don't know anything about Dr. Fate. And because of that, I wanted them to maybe try to give me a little more background on those characters. Now, they did a good job, I think, of explaining what happens with Black Adam and his character development. And there are some twists when we talk about the character Black Adam in this movie. But overall, you really had a situation where I thought they could have gone into just a little more background, especially on Adam Smasher and Cyclone. I thought they they really started to pick up later in the movie I would have liked to know a little bit more about them to start with. All right, everybody. That is uh, basically my reaction. I'm going to give Black Adam an A-. minus. Basically, that's based on the fact I'm going to be going back and seeing this movie in the theater again. And I, I never rate anything under an A- minus that I've gone back and seen again. Uh, this is a movie that I will definitely, when it comes out, probably watch multiple times and so I, I think it deserves an a minus i think if uh, you all want to see a good superhero movie go on out take a look at black adam i think you're going to have some fun with it and with that please subscribe to the channel hit the like button maybe hit that dislike button if you don't like what i'm saying also give me some comments below let me know what you think and just remember we'll see you next time on the fandom realm